Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Holly. Hey, guys. Holly, you've been playing at PSX ukulele. Yeah, I have. Now, um, I know if any of you guys have seen our coverage on ukulele before, at EGX, uh, we did a live stream of this. But this time, I can tell you right now, this is me playing. This so is the developers. This is, this is the first me. time you've actually got your hands on the game. Yeah, it is. I've been really lucky to see it a few times. The first time I've actually played. So this is me at the moment just learning the controls. And I'm about to chat to Trouser. Trouser, the trouser snake. Yeah, but I think I've just checked two eyes. Two eyes. This, the trouser of a snake. Uh, it's pure. I mean, you can't. Is he called Justin? No, <laughs> I don't know what he's called. Uh, he is trouser. Um, but this game, uh, it's bad joke, is it really? And it's it's from the people. It's from Playtonic. They're yeah. a team that have come from uh, a great heritage. A lot of it's banter because we know a game I know you've never played. No, because I've never. You know, I've only owned PlayStation console. And if anyone, purist. <laughs> if anyone hasn't played Banjo Kazooie, obviously what we're talking about is this is a an old school classic platformer type game. And we've seen this game quite a lot of times, haven't we? In its developmental journey. Yeah, actually, we've been really lucky seeing this game and. Looking at how much it's come on is amazing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, one thing probably worth noting is this is a still a demo, so I'm not playing the final game. It's actually uh, about 50% full, as in the world itself. Right. So collectibles and enemies that normally populate the world, this is only 50%-ish full. So if anyone's thinking, God, you know, it looks pretty, but it's a bit bleak, because uh, it's not, you know, it's not got anything in it. it it's actually because it's not supposed to. Uh -huh. So you can run around. It looks so good though. Um, I know because we're VOing this, you can't hear it, but the sound effects as well. I think you remember me, I was playing it yesterday and you're like, what is that? And I was like, well, that's how they talk in the Banjo Kazooie games. And it's it's come through. It's Man. amazing. So, what do you think of this game overall? Does it, does it feel like you're playing an old school classic platformer, that it, kind of game? It really does, Rob. Like, I'm just, I'm utterly charmed by it. Um, originally, you know, I don't think anyone's really been allowed to capture. Uh, on PS4 like we have mm. so I you know I sort of like I messaged him again being like are you sure and she was like okay maybe come on over and I was like thank you thank you thank you thank you I'd like to be able to do this myself um, it means a lot because these are games that I grew up with I mean I know this is a game that quite a lot of people are really looking forward to because of that uh, retro old mm. school feel to it um, and that is kind of a theme, a running theme for PSX, I feel. Yeah, no, Quite it is. a lot of old classics are coming back and we're rediscovering our love for these old style of games. Like Crash Bandicoot's come back, Parappa the Rapper's come back, yeah. uh, Wipeout's back, and Ukulele feels like it fits in with the, the comeback genre, I'm going to call it. The comeback genre. <laughs> the comeback genre. Coined. Like... You know, gaming has evolved and it's matured, but it's great to know that these games, this style of game, mm. is still relevant and can still be really enjoyable. I think, um, you know what did it for me? The Ratchet and Clank yeah. came out recently. I think for a lot of people that was like, when you take something that you know you already love, and you're not, it's not just about it being a remaster, or, you know, it's a full on, we're just taking something you love and we're just gonna do something completely new and, and different with it, and that's what this is. Like, it's clearly, not a copycat, it's a homage, because that's how well it's done. Yeah. Um, so it feels like Banjo-Kazooie, but if you haven't played Banjo-Kazooie, if you're like Rob and you're a PlayStation purist, yes. Um, then it's, it's still a beautiful game in its own right. And boy, are there some puns. I love a good pun. And jokes, Are we gonna see any play. pun? Uh, there is actually, and so what I'm playing here is a timed demo. Right. So the reason this video is pretty much 15 minutes long is because the demo times out. Fly 15 minute time limit. <laughs> yeah, it Have times out. Have as much out. fun as you can. Go. Now, hurry up. <laughs> um, so what I desperately tried to do was run around and do stuff we didn't do at EGX. Right. <laughs> just so I could show that, like, you know, it's not just the same thing. This is a pagey. A pagey? So in What's a, what is a pagey? Like a floating page? Yeah. Oh. And we're building the book. And what we do is use pages to unlock new worlds or right. to expand the current world you're in. Okay. So the world we're in now, this is how it just is when you get here. And you see like the things are greyed out in the background? Oh yeah. You can expand this world to be able to explore those or to be able to explore things you couldn't previously get to. So right. this is just one world and it grows as the game goes on. That's really cool. It is. And you can visit new worlds as well. So what's it like moment to moment? What are you actually doing? 
Is there combat? Are you mostly platforming? You know, how does it play? So it's a little bit of everything. So right now we're just exploring. Uh, we've got some moves that help us explore a little bit quicker if we want to do that. You then have enemies out in the open world who you can then defeat to get, you know, pick up more collectibles. It's full of collectibles, by the way. Excellent. I love a good collectible. And then the open promise. world is dotted with little games and side quests for which you would get things like pages. <laughs> pages. Pages. I can't get over that. Well, they were jiggies in Banjo Kazooie. It was jigsaw oh, pieces okay. called jiggies. Oh, okay. And now we've got pages. Oh, now you've got bits of paper called pages. And here we are. We're going to go in a little bit. I'm going to show you a pagey and a cagey. Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> What's this then? Um, this is a plant, but it doesn't talk. A planty. But it doesn't talk. No, Robert. A petly. <laughs> um. But that's actually another mini game. We need to transform ourselves into a giant plant because you won't talk oh, okay. to anything that's not a plant. Like you do. Like you do. What's going on over here? It's like a laser trap. Well, you're you're an expert gamer, Rob. So you've probably figured it out by now. Is that I have to hit those ones at the back in the same order. Yeah, without touching anything else. But what I've done here is I um I, I didn't know how to ground pound, so I decided to give up. Ground pound. And now and, and now. Well, it's just jump followed by attack, isn't it? Usually ground no, pound. No, it does a double jump. Oh. So here I'm about to figure it out. I'm about to play with a few different attacks. So I said I didn't want to do that bit. I there think, you go. Right, now we'll go back. Go back and do the ground <laughs> so, pound puzzle. So you you can see my thought process as we're playing. Which is not a very clever one. Well, it reminds me of the old games as well. Like, they never really told you how to play them. You kind of just figured it out yeah. as you went along. There weren't any guides. No. Just there's awful nice. like you get those. Oh, you got a time limit. Got to do it. Where's the next one? But but I, then I, but I can't get hit by the lasers. Pesky lasers. Okay, 15 seconds left, Holly. I've got. I'm, this is. Oh, don't Can panic. Can you do this? Yes. Don't panic. Nine seconds. You still got to do two of them. You know, I'm all good. Okay, where's that last one? Boom. Nice. KG and a KG. Is, it a, is that actually called a KG or what? are you just making that up? Well, look, when I interviewed the Platonic team, that someone said page and a KG, and for me that's just that's stuck. Right. Don't jump. Boop. You don't get it. So you collect more of these to open up and expand the world okay. and go to different places. But they're hidden everywhere. And some are a little bit easy, like that one. Some are a bit more difficult. Oh, so I saw some floating collectibles there. Oh god, there's so many collectibles, Rob. Oh, it looks like there's a the shadows are moving. Is there a day night cycle as well? Uh, it isn't a day night cycle. I can say that much. So you can see here, like if you don't use a certain move, which we were given by Trouser, because Trouser you can buy moves. <laughs> Trouser. <laughs> uh, then you can't get to certain places. Um, oh, it's a. What's that? It's moving. It's a floating platform. It is a floating that's platform. That's the moving shadow I saw. Yeah. I thought it was the sun. No, that, the shadows move. No. That's how platformy this is. It's moving platforms. I'm just remembering all of the things that games used to have yeah. in them. Floating platforms, pages. Colour. Cages. <laughs> jump buttons. Goggly eyes. Colour. Ground pound attacks. Yeah. You know, like the, the, the attack that helps you run faster and the one where you can glide or fly just a little bit at the end. So how do ukulele, how do Yuka and Lele See? work together? So, um, Lele can help us with like flying okay. and because she's a bat, we can also do like some, like, uh, ultrasonic waves. Right. Uh, okay. Which we'll use in a little bit as well so you can see how they work. Excellent. Um, it's just, again, just like Banjo Kazooie, it's about working together. So Kazooie was a bird, mm -hmm. and that one would allow us to do the Italian trot. So you know how we roll to go faster in this one? Yes. In Banjo Kazooie, we would Italian trot. So we'd let you, you like lie on to, lie on to Kazooie, and she would run. This is pretty cool. So what I've done here is basically uncover uh, a little area beneath this temple, and. We're now going to go and check it out. There's a mini game in here for more pages. More pages. All about collecting the pages. Um, but you can just see now, ultrasonic waves then brings that platform to life. So now nice. I can now ride it and use it to go up. Uh, <laughs> unsurprisingly, I'm crap at jumping. I think I make it to this one. Don't let yourself down. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. You gotta wait. Gotta wait to the opportune moment. I know, I know, but I'm so conscious of wait like. For it. Got this... Holly. Oh, I know, but I did manage to not splat. That was good. Which I thought was cute. I think I did need to pick up. Really run around, but it was just you can just do what you want. Like, you just, just run around and just explore. So it's completely open world then. 
in that sense, like it's not, you know, you're not talking Witcher 3 open world, no. <laughs> but the play area that you're in, it is big and can be expanded. Right. Let's try her again. See you on that KG. So, again, you have to apologize while I'm quickly figuring out what to do here. Um, but yeah, so there's certain plants. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. Lit up now. So there's certain plants you can eat, and they'll give you special powers. Oh. So there's like Bio fire. Oh, well and done. The um, there's like fire ones and ice ones, and you can use them to like yeah to shoot. What is this that you're talking to right now? No idea. Genuinely. A. It looks like a sort of frog, sort of goblin in a hat. It's very descriptive. Oh. Said, said the man that called the Horizon Dinosaurs <laughs> Steel Wildlife. Steel Wildlife, a hattie. <laughs> yeah, you're not letting this go, are you? No. But basically, we we were ground pounding these like look, these windows upstairs to let the light in, and he said, "Well, okay, if you guys can come down here and do my challenge, I'll give you a pagey." Oh, it's a shooting gallery for a pagey. Can you win a pagey? Uh, again, I got about halfway through this and realised it's inverted. Oh, Holly. You know, you, it's only Nathan, I think, from us oh. that plays inverted, isn't it? Yeah. It's horrible. The uh, the very nice PR lady came over and offered to like change it. I was like, no, no, like I've I've got this, but it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. So basically, the 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 shooting, the little glowing, is it doesn't last forever. So you get a certain amount of times you can nice. sort of use oh. it. Nice. See, now we're doing okay. Oh, 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 that, oh I started to, I've started to figure out it's inverted. Come on, Holly. It's still there. No, it's fine. I'm just going to grab another one of these. Nom, 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 nom. And then you can press L3 to go into this mode, which gives you the crosshairs. Right. You can just, I mean, you can shoot blind oh, if you want. See? It's, now it's moving. Slippery little thing. Another, oh, that is oh, hard. It, yeah. I mean, it's no Zelda shooting gallery. Come on, anticipation here. That's good. Because those were awful. Oh, look. And I'm inverted, and, and, and I'm crying because it's inverted, and now I lost. Who plays inverted, honestly? Nathan Dighton does. Every What's time I pick up a PlayStation after him, people? he's playing wrong. They reckon like 50% of people play wrong. <laughs> That's what we should start calling it. Not inverted and non-inverted. Correct and wrong. wrong. You're wrong, Nathan. Yes. I'm sure he's going to edit this. <laughs> but yeah, well so we done. did it. You got your pagey in the KG. Got my pagey in the KG. Uh, I just this game is so adorable. And there's a little feathery there as well. Yep, just a collectible. Uh, there used to be eggs and things like that in, in Banjo Kazooie. And there's Trouser. But you need you can trade those in, you see, to be able to buy moves from Trouser. And that again unlocks the world because there's certain places. Because it's a demo, obviously, I have a lot of access to things. Yeah. But like the, the little roll that we do allows us to get up really oh. steep slopes, like the one I'm coming to like now. This one. And you can buy that move from Trouser. But if you don't have it, I mean, you just can't get up there. So, you know, that bit sort of shut off, as I've just demonstrated. A classic kind of mechanic in that you'll be in areas where you can't fully explore until you expand your moveset. Yeah. And then your moveset expands and you can you find out the areas that you couldn't previously access, you can now access. Exactly. And what you see, like that little um, ravine, like there's obviously I'm about to fall back into it now. This bit... Come on, Holly. You can actually do some racing in here. Right. It's like a racing option. But there's also a little side quest you can do at the very top of this tower. There's a, a sad cloud. A sad cloud? And if you make the cloud rain, this then becomes a river. And you can then swim is in it. Swimming? That is cool. But then if you use the little ice blast, you freeze the cloud and it snows. And then that becomes a frozen river. That's cool. And then you can race on it again, but the race is now more difficult because it's being done. Ice rink. Because it's an ice rink. What are these things then? They don't bang. Are these your general Just there to be hit. Yeah, to give me butterflies to restore my health. Yeah, no. But if they weren't there, you wouldn't you wouldn't have to restore your health anyway. No, and again, to hurt you. the world is about 50% full, so you're not quite seeing uh, everything that you would do when you finally play the game. Oh, no, you no, have got there. No, nice. double jump. Go on, double jump and glide over there. Whoop. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it just... Good feelings. Good feelings come it's from playing this game. giving me good feelings. I mean, look at all the colours. I mean, that's the kind of thing about these games. They're just nice environments to be, to be in, aren't they? It is. It just felt it's... really pleasant. Um, and I like that. I don't... It's a nice variety. It's a healthy diet. It is. And we could do with some games like this at the moment, I feel. I think we could. I mean, we, we did a couple of videos recently, didn't we? Like, looking at, like... 
you know, Peggy 12 stuff that everyone can enjoy. So good games that aren't necessarily violent. Yeah. Uh, and ukulele, if it had been out, would be, would be one of them. You'll like this pun. This is my favorite pun. Okay. Come on then. <laughs> Who might you be? Howdy, strangers. Kartos. The name's Kartos. God of all. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> it's a mining cart. Kartos. And you actually get to ride him as well. And God you, of all. And you go through like a whole, like, there's like a riding mini game. You've got to jump and stuff. But uh, that is where my 15 minutes wow. ended. Sorry, Time's guys. Up. But get that was, off. That was wonderful. It does. It's it a was really, really nice... wonderful. And I got to play it. And yeah, I'm very jealous. Good. Well, there you go. There's there's our little look at uh, ukulele, uh, our first gameplay that we've actually captured ourselves on PS4. Yes, it's very exciting. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think about ukulele if you're excited to pick it up, and don't forget to subscribe as we have absolutely loads more coming up.